What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a re-review for probably my greatest or one of my greatest TV sh or favorite TV shows of all time. I say one of them just because as far as comedies go, this is my favorite. Um, as far as fictional medieval style shows go, Game of Thrones is still up there for me, but Psych um, holds up for me as one of the greatest just be and one of my favorite just because of its rewatchability. So a few months ago, I did do a rewatch of the show to get caught up for Psych 3 This Is Gus. And lately I've just had a busy schedule at work, so I decided I would do a rewatch just to see on its own how the show, how the show holds up, movies aside to fill in some, and complete some of the backstories on the side, notably along the line of what happened, what's going on with um, Carlton Lasseter and then Gus and his girlfriend and getting married and all of that and then stuff with um, Juliet and Sean and all of that. So. Like I said, I rewatched the show, and overall, for me, one of the reasons why it holds up is how much each character stays in the act of each of their characters throughout the show, and how well they play off of each other. So, um, Sean and Gus, Sean and his dad, um, Sean and Carlton with Juliet, with Chief Vic, um, and generally how Gus. We're on the Gus side, how he continuously is trying to keep his job or a primary job while also helping Sean run psych and pay the bills and kind of being that counterweight to Sean so that he doesn't continue to do anything stupid. Um, he continues to stay on the up and up and basically call out Sean um, kind of as a surrogate for Sean's dad um, while he's not around. And then the acting between Sean and his dad are also particularly good just because of um, the growth of their relationship as far as kind of being at odds with each other with Sean being the way his, he is and then um, Sean's dad being the way he is but then learning that Sean had remembered a lot of his life lessons that he learned from his dad and continuing to use day to day and Sean continuing to balance um, not wanting to grow up and but also using all those lessons that he learned and ultimately growing into the relationship with Juliet, um, their whole, the whole issue with Juliet finding out in season seven and then getting back together. Um, the final episode where Sean essentially confesses to Carlton that he's not a psychic. So that whole scene still worked. Um, and then the little things on the side. So the continuing to reference and play off of 80s and 90s sci-fi, um, horror movies, um, having Christmas and Halloween themed episodes, um, having the pineapple gag run throughout the show, um, but generally fade from being the um, soul gag into the gag about um, Dobson and everyone continuing to look for him and then ultimately um, showing that Dobson was played by Val Kilmer so a nice little touch there especially with Sean and Gus's um being Sean and Gus being super fans of his um and then also it was nice to have Kurt Smith in there and that continuing continued to be a running story not necessarily a gag but just a for me a general story and relationship because they're also fan or I guess Sean is a super fan of him so stuff like that generally just works and if when you watch the show over the course of all eight seasons, you get to see all that growth continuing to build um, and ultimately um, Carlton becoming chief and then um, having to get his new um, head detective, Juliet leaving with um, Chief Vic to go to San Francisco and that a little nod to Monk at the, in the last episode. So um, all in all, a good show and still continues to be very funny. So that's really all there is for this particular review so um like i mentioned i did um watch it last year to watch to kind of get caught up for psych 3 this is gus but generally just watching it now it's easy to get through easy to watch still very funny um all the humor that goes into it especially with um sean and have sean having his high psychic episodes to play that up um and then gus being the way he is like with the whole running joke of him being a sympathetic crier and um various other sympathetic things that he does um continue to be funny the growing relationship with sean and woody was nice and that the especially with the episode with them staying together in the airstream or jet stream or wherever 
Woody stayed was nice. Um, it would have been nice to have more, or still would have been nice to have more of uh, Simple Shepherd as uh, Sean's mom in the show, especially in the second half after all of the um, yin and yang stuff. Um, which I guess they didn't. They didn't necessarily have too many big villains after that, but. I kind of want, would have wanted Sean's mom to stick around, not necessarily to get back with um, Sean's dad. Um, I have no real input on that as far as their relationship goes, but it would have been nice to see them get back together or at least have her around so that Sean would have that balance um, um, compared to his dad and just have that side relationship to help deal with Juliet and all of that stuff. Um, they did play that well with his dad to um have his input on um what went wrong with um him and simple shepherd but granted you know having more of a good actress is always a good thing so as far as grading the show um i give it an a um as a biased a but as far as um taking a step back um i would probably give it about a b plus to an a minus um just because uh, or mostly because I did like the overall, the, like I said, all the stuff that I said in this review is why I would give it an A. The final episode also landed well as far as Sean and Juliet or Sean and Gus closing down side moving to San Francisco to be so that Sean could be with Juliet um, and all of that. The movies deal with Gus and his relationships. Um, Carlton gets to be chief of police. He has his new head detective, and then it's nice to have Buzz get be able to get promoted into junior detective so that all works so they closed off the episode very nicely um the second to last episode was the only one where i didn't have uh any issue with it it was kind of a horror zombie night of the living dead and general zombie take on or with our flavor with the psych team but reading some of the trivia i guess it was the lowest rated episode of the show um, I don't know if it's because it dealt all with um, Gus's d dream or if it didn't necessarily have too much of a plot to work within the show, but um, I don't know. I guess it was, it was basically just a stepping stone from the introduction, the story arc introducing the new head detective for the SBPD and then the season and series finale, but... Um, that's neither here nor there. Overall, the show is still worth watching. It feels like it's one of those things that can be an annual rewatch if it wasn't. Um, actually, it could be an annual rewatch along the lines of Game of Thrones where it has more episodes, but because they're all 45 minutes long, it's easy to get through really quickly, especially if you've seen the show and you want it just as background noise or a side viewing that you can watch the show, the jokes still land, the fun and general funny atmosphere that the show brings still holds up so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comment feedback or anything like that you can uh, comment on this post on twitter at patel in zero one the website is headphones neil dot reviews or subscription options supporting the show and all of that good stuff and of course if you're a patron stay tuned to get some bonus content but if you're on a patron you can always um, become a supporter at pa on patreon at patreon.com slash patel in zero one where you also get an ad-free version of the show. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.